Oh, excuse me, sorry. I just had to cough at the right time, right? Just when the camera came on. Hello, everybody. I hope you all of y'all are doing well. Um, this is the Real Tarot. Welcome to the Real Tarot 1123. To all you newcomers, welcome. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave your comments. I would greatly appreciate it. And to all my regular viewers and my subscribers, you guys know I couldn't do this without you all. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Your thumbs up, your comments, your participation in live streams. It's just absolutely invaluable to me. I have a request. I would really appreciate it if you guys could spread the word around uh, about this channel simply because I've been getting a lot of emails, a lot of emails from people saying that, or uh, rather asking me, can I pin your video here? Can I pin your video there? Um, you know, that sort of a thing. So just to get the word around and people see what they need to see on my videos. I've got a lot of people sending me emails. The past couple of days, my email box is kind of just blown out of proportion. This is regarding the Gabby Petito case. I so many people, I got a little overwhelmed actually with the emails. They were like, oh my God, whatever you just said right now, the police are like talking about it. They released uh, whatever the police West Cam footage. They found uh, this, that and the other. All after the fact that I had posted, after the fact, after I had posted my videos. So it's very gratifying for me because validation, you know, it's uh, that kind of validation is, is, is very gratifying and it encourages me to continue to do this. I mean, I have never doubted my spirit guides or never doubted my guides. So, and it's good to know that people are taking note, people are observing, people are watching and, you know, that sort of thing. So the premise of just wanting to spread the word around this video, my videos, my channel is just so people get to watch and they're able to connect the dots and some case somewhere is resolved. That's the ultimate goal, right? So I would greatly appreciate your thumbs up, your subscriptions. And I know as far as the analytics uh, of uh, YouTube is concerned, it kind of helps make this channel or my videos uh, more popular in the feed, you know, or the suggested videos and that in and unto itself would help more people watch sort of thing. So that would be much, much appreciated. Um, I, w I just finished posting a video for daily energy readings for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 20, 21st, and 22nd of September. And I did a little rant type of thing. It wasn't a rant, I was just kind of, you know, talking about how I'm feeling like so sick. I cannot explain to you how much of an impact that reading I did for Gabby Petito had on me. It's, I didn't think nothing of it. I just went, I did the reading and I went on with my day and went and slept. It's like my body, I couldn't sleep y'all. My body felt like I was literally pummeled. Like, you know, you think about putting a, a piece of something in a, in a blender and you go, you know, like that, like beaten up, just all of a sudden intense body ache. And usually, you know, when you're getting a cold or a cough and on a couple of days, you feel it a little bit, right? And then it kind of hits. But this, it was like, I'm fine one minute and the next minute, extreme congestion, like this part, I feel like this is an elephant sitting on my chest. Extreme congestion around the sinuses, terrible migraine. Uh, I can't breathe. I feel heavy. I feel like my breath is only going so far. I feel like I can't. The air isn't going all the way to my lungs. Feeling out of breath, body aches so bad, and nausea. And I tossed and turned and tossed and turned and tossed and turned and whatever. Couldn't even walk properly last night. I had to use the restroom a couple of times, but my legs gave way and my knees were not hurting. Like I said, I do have a problem knee, but my knee was not hurting. So it was like my knee was giving up, both my legs. I felt like somebody pummeled my legs, you know, literally like that. And my legs were hurting. It's the weirdest thing. So I woke up this morning and I, like 3, 3.59, I think, 
and I came downstairs and I said, you know what, I can't sleep. Let me make a cup of coffee. Maybe that coffee will help me, right? Nice hot liquid will help with whatever. As I was waiting for my coffee to percolate, y'all, it seemed like minutes, but probably must have been just a few seconds. I just completely panicked because I couldn't breathe. Like I'm walking, like trying to set up my computer and all, plug it in and do all that. I couldn't breathe. Like I just couldn't breathe through my mouth. I couldn't breathe through my nose too either. Like for a few seconds, I was like, is this what, is this COVID? Am I dying? Like what's going on? Because I am fully vaccinated, but they say it doesn't necessarily mean you're protected with all these various strains. I was like, why can't I breathe? Why can't I breathe through my mouth? Why can't I breathe through my nose? Those few seconds I panicked so bad, I literally wanted to go bang on the neighbor's door and say, can you please take me to the hospital or something like that? Like I, I was like, I, I was like, I can't, it freaked me out, y'all. It freaked me out so bad. And then finally I, I went to the restroom and I took too much information, I'm sorry. And I almost tried to throw up and I blew my nose and then I kind of felt, oh God, at least some air is going to go through my nasal, whatever. And all that congestion, oh my God, y'all. This Gabby Petito's case, the reading I did, it has taken its toll on me. But the good thing is, we now know that they found her, right? It's a question of forensics and autopsy and all that. Hopefully it'll all come out like what the impact was, etc. So, remember I had said that this case is going to get resolved really fast, like fast. And look how fast it got resolved. Isn't that awesome though? I wish we could say this about all the cases. I had also said a whole bunch of things about uh, uh, Laundry. Laundry, Laundry. What's his face, his name? Uh, and I got a couple of insights and I was like, all right, Gabby, stop. I'll do another reading. Chill, okay? Because she's like, she was like, literally like, tell him, tell him, tell him. I was like, okay, calm down, I will, you know. There's a very, very intense feeling of restlessness. Like, I'm feeling so restless, I can't even explain what it is to you. So, anyway, I had to, subsequently, I went to the doctors earlier today and they put me on antibiotics and they drew my blood and they said, yeah, no worries, you don't have COVID, but um, drew my blood for the COVID testing. And they said, your oxygen level is pretty okay, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, and put me on a whole bunch of antibiotics and uh, hopefully, you know. Uh, I have a feeling, I had said that Brian Landry was, uh, he was going to run, he was going to hide and all that, and that's exactly what happened. But as I was sitting through the day and as I was like, just, you know, the past couple of hours, I had a feeling that there's something going on about Brian Lundry. I wouldn't be surprised if he's vanished and walked off and I wouldn't be surprised if we never find him. I, there's a great chance that we won't find him whether he has walked off into the woods and just died, or he's walked off into the woods and just kept walking and he's somewhere else completely safe. I have a feeling we may not find Brian Landry. That's what I'm feeling. I don't know, we we'll look at the cards. if Brian Landry will be found. I got a one yes. Thirteen days. 
13 days they are going to find him 13 days Yeah, 13 days. We are going to find him in 13 days. So the next question would be, well, Kirtana, what do you mean 13 days from now, from today, or 13 days from the day he went missing? I don't know exactly when he went missing. So let's just say within the next 13 days, like from today, let's just say he will be found. Okay, or something about him is going to be found. My next question is, is he going to be dead? Is he dead? Is Brian Lundry dead? Got a single yes. You know, I have a feeling you may not find him alive, y'all. I have a feeling, if at all we find him, there is a very, very high chance. If we find him, he's not going to be alive. There is a 90% chance that we will find him, but he's not going to be alive. The other 10% is that, okay, well, that doesn't say anything, right? Because people, skeptics will be like, well, that's still a 10% chance. I have a feeling that Brian Lundry was definitely facilitated. He was definitely given help by his family. And he took a hike into the woods or whatever he did, or if they drove him somewhere, they did. And from there, he just kept on moving. So. Somebody knows in the family what happened. But I have a feeling that he's not going to turn up alive. Okay? Within the next 13 days, something is going to come up regarding Brian Lundy. We're going to find something about him. Okay? Solitary in a cave. Solitary in a cave. If at all they find Brian, Brian Lundry's remains, it will be solitary in a cave-like setting. He brought it on himself. He brought it on himself.
The reason I'm not bringing it right up there is because you can't make out of because of my, these are cards that have my messages on them. I had somebody send me a comment, y'all. They're like, oh, why is it that you don't show? What does she say? I was like, oh my God. Why is it that your camera doesn't show the cards on the table? You just show it to us like this and then you put it on the table. And you have so many decks on the table. Are you sure you're not pulling any other cards? Are you sure you're the one who's doing this? I, I just, I actually, I was like, you're stupid. You're just plain stupid. Because if you knew anything about tarot, you would know that if I show the card and say Ace of Cups, and when I'm talking, I'm explaining that emotion, that feeling, it's clearly the Ace of Cups, dum-dum. So, whatever. I just clicked. I was like, you can go. Bye. I don't need to be proving, you know. A lot of uh, uh, YouTubers, I'm told, have all these different angles and all. One on their face and one on the computer and one on the desk. I have no need to do all of that. I don't need to prove my skills or my talent or to any, any, anything to anybody. This is what I read. If you want to watch, watch. You don't want to, that's fine. But if you're questioning my credibility, you're questioning my integrity, then I'm going to put you in your spot and say, take a hike, piss off. There's no need for me to do none of that. So I was like, can, can you even hear, can you not see? I wear my hands and I talk and all that. It's like, what the hell is wrong with these people, dum-dums, anywho. So there's definitely a feeling of loneliness in new romance, okay? All this thing about having realistic plans, working smart, not hard, all that has come to a crashing end. <coughs> Baby cradle young boy, bitter tears, loss of treasures, depressions, loss of valuables, things, etc. There we have chapel fertility in bed. Somebody needs to go and look into Brian Lundry's social media platforms or whatever accounts. I have a feeling he must have been in communication with another female. Okay? And I wouldn't be surprised if, like I said in the first video, I think Gabby was more vested in the relationship than he was. I don't think Brian Lundry really was that vested in this relationship. This female in Brian's life is somebody going back to his childhood. Went to school together, etc., etc. They've known each other since they were little kids, like cradle kids. Brian Landry is under a lot of stress and tension, depression, tears, crying. He has attempted to end it all, but he doesn't have the nerve to follow through on that. I wouldn't be surprised if he is also like assisted in saying, let's create this persona and say, oh, he's emotionally so messed up, we can't take him to court, etc. But after a lot of all these conversations, he has decided that he cannot deal with this anymore. Brian Lundry has also asked to speak to a pastor or a priest. Don't ask me why. He doesn't come across as being a religious person, but at some point in time, he actually asked his parents if he could speak to a pastor or a priest. Within 13 days, they're going to find out something about Brian Landry. There is a high 90%, he, he's gone. Treasure chest, sunlight, unexpected windfall and happiness. What I feel with this is if there is something in their personal belongings of Gabby and Brian Landry, there could be something unexpected they find there that would shed a little bit more light on the extent 
or involvement of Brian Lundry in the, and his level of responsibility in the demise of Gabby. There was a lot of arguments between the two of them, okay? There was a lot of fighting between the two of them. Brian Lundry is passive aggressive. When you look at him, he's quiet, he's soft-spoken, still waters run deep, and Gabby is the more bold, the outgoing personality, talks to everybody, doesn't have a problem talking to anybody. So people automatically assume that Brian is the softer, sweeter one, and she's the more aggressive one. Brian is passive-aggressive. There was a moment in time where they did surround themselves with friends and, and family. There was a lot of happiness and laughter. But because of his insecurities and his issues, he knew very well from the beginning that she was way above his league. He decided something snapped in him and he was like, yeah, I think I want out. But I'm also going to say that that female who he's known as a child and she has not any great part in this, so don't go after her. She genuinely cared for Brian Lundry. So she would have been like, okay, fine, if this relationship goes south, I'll move in and I, Brian will be mine. There is a lot of um, guidance a lot of manipulation by an older female who is instrumental in manipulating and managing Brian Lundry during this whole process. I wouldn't be surprised if that's his mother. So somebody had posted that apparently she used to work for the DA or something. I don't know. Well, if she did, then she knows some legalities, right? So, he's gone, y'all. I'll be really surprised if they apprehend him. Like, I'll be like so blown away if they find him alive and bring him back. I see him solitary in a cave. Eight of Wands, the Fool card, the Five of Chalices, the Strength card. So the Eight of Wands, of course, in the traditional tarot, it's quick changes, quick news arrives. With regards to the fool who just walked off into the unknown, Five of Cups is saying that there is going to be loss and regret, feeling like uh, they may have abandoned the search too soon. The strength card is ruled by Leo. They're going to find evidence of him actually around nightfall, okay? And then you have the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles is all about uh, they're going to find him around nightfall, around like a cave type of place in solitary. He's alone by himself. Animals are going to lead them there. They're going to find animal scat and they're going to follow that and lo and behold. It's almost like he's in a, on a ledge, on a cave and there's a ledge. That's where he's hiding. They're going to 
trail animal animal scat and they're going that's going to lead to that and that's where they're going to find evidence of him they better get to him really quick if this 13 day window goes they'll never find him and if they do he's going to be dead that's basically what i wanted to say if law enforcement doesn't get to him within the next 13 days they will never find him alive Two other people. They're telling me two other people are going to be uh, brought into the. We're going to be caught in the net as accomplices or preventing justice or tampering with evidence type of situation. People are going to celebrate this, the the case. It's going to be so emotionally gratifying for everybody. Case is going to be resolved. They're going to throw the book and everything in. They're going to throw the bookshelf, the library, the 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 every. You know how they say everything but the kitchen sink. They're going to throw everything at the pair family and the parents. Knave of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles. There's some new information that's going to be brought forth. It's going to be new information, fresh and from young, but fresh information. What I mean by young is fresh information. That's going to be brought forth. That is going to shed a lot of light on the emotional state and the emotions with regards to this case and where it was. Where the Brian and Gabby were emotionally. This new information is also going to be so overwhelming. That is like finally we know. People are going to celebrate and say yes. Now we know. We understand. Finally, we can lay this case to rest. Nine of Cups is telling me that wishes are going to come true in terms of the resolution of this case, justice being served. Ace of Swords is going to show me that the justice is being served. Everything is thrown at them. Everything in the in the in the book, in the judicial, in the justice book, per law, is going to be thrown at the parents, or the Lundry family. Within the next thirteen days, if they do not find Brian Lundry, he's dead. Law enforcement, go oh look. No. He's in a cave with a ledge. They're going to track animal scat, and that's what's going to lead them to the cave. I'm getting so out of breath, y'all. So out of breath. So we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Cups. The wheel of fortune is Jupiter. Okay, the wheels are turning to reveal the cyclical natures of life. The ju justice wheels are turning. Justice will be served. It's going to be an emotional roller coaster for everybody. Justice is going to be served. Gabby is going to be happy because she'd be like, yeah. The devil card. <laughs> yes. <coughs> Excuse me. The wheels are turning. Justice is going to serve, be served. It's going to be emotionally very, very gratifying. Gabby is also going to be emotionally, spiritually very satisfied with the outcome of the case. She is saying finally the devil is being brought to light. The Ace of Chalices is all about all the information is brought to light. Either she thought she was pregnant or she was genuinely pregnant. 
<coughs> she was worried she had gotten pregnant because she missed her period by a couple of days. She's talking about that again. She's saying, yes, yes. There is another person involved who Gabby knew of and that was the argument. So, remember I said this young lady who went to school with Brian, they've been known to each other since they were kids. Gabby somehow find, found out about her. That was what started the whole argument. See that figure there? So Gabby was like, what's going on? Why? Who is this chick? Why didn't you tell me what's going on? And he pissed her off because she was more vested in this relationship than he was. It all kind of came crumbling down, okay? And even though they threw in the white flag and said, by peace, she somehow knew that that was not like genuine buying peace. Yeah, it's all a crumbling down. That is what started the whole thing and brought the whole mess down. That is what happened and brought the whole situation down. Oh my goodness, look, that's what caused a disintegration of that relationship. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Now you're telling me this? Two of swords, there you go. It was time to compromise and make a decision. She's like, time to compromise and make a decision. Get rid of, it's her or me. He didn't want to make a decision because he's passive aggressive. He said, I'm going to continue to go on like this. I don't mind continuing like this. With the Knight of Cups, I don't mind continuing to go here, go there, do that. She wasn't, she wasn't having it. She's like, no, we can't do that. Make up your mind. The Hermit card, she decided to go inwards and search and figure out whether this is really what you wanted. Even though they threw in the white towel, the white flag to buy peace, she knew it was not peace and she was thinking about what she needed to do. She was holding on to her emotions, want to figure out what decisions to make, contemplating, thinking about it. Once we get back home, I'm going to sit and figure it out and I'm going to take some time out and decide what I want to do. She was desperately holding on to her emotions. The Empress, ruled by Venus. I have a feeling Gabby was Pregnant, just by a couple days or whatever, or she thought she was. <clears throat> Naval Wands, King of Cups. Uh, Ten of Coins, yes. So 100%, she definitely, definitely wanted to take a step back. She just wanted to go home. She wanted to take a step back. She was hanging on to her emotions. I'm going to go home. I'm going to be my regal self. I'm going to be strong. I'm not going to be shaken. I'm not going to be shook. I'm going to go home. I'm going to sit and think about it. Make a decision. Okay, it's a little emotional. That's fine. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to come out on the other end. I'm going to be content. I'm going to have total love and support and peace, and I'm going to be fine. That was her intention. She was like, yeah, this is not going to work out. I need some time away from this fellow to figure out, you know, to figure out what I'm going to do with my life. If they had come back home, she would have taken some time off and said, we need some separation. I need to figure this out. And either they would have gotten back together or they would have gone their separate ways. But no, lives had to be lost because of this fool. Oh. Excuse me. And as I say that, we have the Four of Wands celebration. This case is going to be closed. There's going to be victory, there's going to be celebration. 
Gabby also is going to be celebrating because she's going to say, finally, justice is served. There is a part of Gabby that still feels that Brian, she's not saying that she loves him. She's like, I forgive him. She doesn't like, there's no, there's no apathy for him anymore. She, there's no feelings for him anymore. No love, no hate, but she forgives him. Oh my God, she's asking me to continue and I'm, my energy is draining. Ah. All right, honey, what you got? She wants me to go and my physical energy is draining. Yes, King of Wands, Two of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. It's going to go before the judge. Okay. There is definitely Seven of Pentacles is patience. It's going to pay off. It's going to be delayed success, but it's, it's going to pay off. They are also going to, her parents are also going to win a civil lawsuit against the Lumpy family. Y'all, I just can't, okay? I'm going to stop right here. I, I'm just like, I mean, nobody asked me to do this. I mean, I'm, nobody forced me to do this. I just felt a need to. But I'm sure there's going to be another one of these readings. Um, this is impromptu. I'm going to just stop right now. And we'll come back and pick it up another time. Thank you all for watching. Please leave your comments below. All right? Take care, everybody.